Hey guys, today's video is all about the best possible advice I can share with you guys when it comes to caring for your indoor begonias, albeit your begonia maculata whitei like this one here, a cane begonia, or uh, otherwise some rex begonias, which I also have uh, as well. Now I'm going to be sharing five things you ought to know when it comes to caring for your cane begonias or your rex begonias alike. And there may be a couple of surprises along the way. I'm sure there are a few that won't be too much of a surprise. That being said, we're gonna have a ton of fun and I haven't prioritized uh, the order in which I'm sharing these five things you ought to know. So they're definitely not in order of importance. What I can tell you is each one of these things you ought to know will help you care for your indoor begonias to ensure that they thrive and flourish. Begonias come in a ton of different shapes and sizes. This is a miniature of mine, which is teeny weeny compared to my huge cane begonia. Now these indoor begonias are definitely known for and cherished for their beautiful foliage. Now they do, some of them do flower, but it's really all about the beautiful stems and the incredibly vibrant leaves. All right, so let's jump into five things you ought to know in terms of caring for your begonias. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button. Now to really show me some love, click on the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my merch store, tylermossup.com. All right guys, the first thing that I wanna share with you is actually a don't instead of a do. So you shouldn't be misting your Rex begonias or your cane begonias, although they love their humidity and require at least 50% humidity uh, or more. Uh, by misting them, you're doing them a disservice and it can really kind of impact them in a negative way. So my first piece of advice is to not mist them um, with water. Uh, you need to create humidity in some other way. Now, this next one is one that I'm actually having to constantly remind myself of, is providing more bright and direct light for my begonias, um, including this cane begonia. Now, I've had it kind of sitting over here for um, quite some time and it just isn't getting the light that it needs over here, so I'm going to be finding a new spot for it, providing your Rex begonias or your cane begonias with a really good bright uh, indirect light throughout the course of the day is really going to allow them to thrive and flourish. Another great tip that I can share with you guys is that if you wait until your begonia, Rex begonias or cane begonias start to wilt ever so slightly until you water them, you're actually going to do the plant a favor in terms of strengthening their root system and just creating a little bit of a healthier, hardier plant. So wait for that initial sign of a little bit of droopiness before giving them a really healthy watering. Now, another tip that might not be as obvious uh, as you may think is uh, repotting your begonias yearly is not a bad idea and actually if you use sort of a wider and more shallow container that can actually help as well with the rhizomes and the entire root system so this is something uh, a little bit newer that i've come across and it's really helped uh, my own begonia collection that being said i did have a huge mealy bug infestation in some on basically most of my rex begonias which was a nightmare to deal with but if you're interested in learning um, how to treat and prevent mealybugs and what I all did, then check out this video right up here. Finally, guys, this one might sound a bit silly, but it is important to rotate your begonias um, throughout the course of the growing season, just in general. And what that does is it will help 
keep your begonias looking nice and full to ensure that all corners, leaves, and the entire plant is really able to absorb and soak up all of that bright indirect light so that you have a beautiful looking begonia. Well, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Miss you guys already, until the next one.